And Did it start out like it is now? No, it was a normal show in the beginning. <laughs> uh, we didn't get stupid until about three years later. So you uh, had regular guests? And oh, yeah. We had, like, Oliver North, um, Jesse Jackson. It was mostly a political show. So how did it change? Well, I was drinking. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, the way it changed was um, there were 20 talk shows at the time on the air, and everyone was trying to be like Oprah, go after the demographic, which at that time was referred to as middle-aged housewives. And then along came Ricky Lake, and she really was the first talk show to go after the kids. And when I say kids, I mean high school, college age. And so one afternoon, I'm walking down uh, Michigan Avenue in Chicago with our executive producer, and, I, and I, we were talking about the business model. I said, why are we trying to be one out of 20 shows like Oprah? Let's go after Ricky Lake's audience and just be one out of two and go after the kids. So we then decided from now on, we're only going to have young people in the audience, young people on stage, and young subject matter. Well, young people are much more open about their lives, much wilder, crazier. So then the show started to go crazy. Universal comes in and buys us and says, from now on, you can only do crazy. So that, <laughs> as silly as it sounds, that is the truth. We are not allowed to do anything but normal. normal. Why is we have to send you to another show. Watch new episodes of Larry King Now, Monday through Thursday, on demand on Hulu and Aura.tv.